Something in the head-to-head -head battle round. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That is yeah. it. That Goodbye. is it. Goodbye, Goodbye McLemore. <laughs> Goodbye, Shaq. Because there is a new... I, I told you, John Wall is going to get it. Dance it out, baby. Dance it out. Rock it out. That was nice. That wasn't... That was a little... A heads up play by Mack. Nick Young lost it as he had the slam. If you did not hear the news, Washington Wizards all-star point guard John Wall will be missing the remainder of the season because he's going to have heel surgery. The official statement is Washington Wizards guard John Wall will undergo a debridement and repair of a Hagwan's deformity and a chronic Achilles tendon injury in his left heel. The procedure will be performed by Dr. Robert Anderson in Green Bay, Wisconsin next week on a day to be determined. Wall is expected to return to full basketball activity in approximately six to eight months. Sorry that I couldn't pronounce some of the words and names in there, but I, I, I guess. Debridement and Hagwan's there. I tried. But... Anyways, um, he's he's had heel problems, so he's finally getting surgery on it. Apparently, he's been Scott Brooks, the head coach for the Wizards, has said that Wall has been bothered by his heel for months and maybe even years now. So it's just been a sore heel, and now he's having surgery on it to repair it. That's a big deal for the Wizards, obviously not. Not having the season they would like, obviously. Uh, they, they're they they're not doing good. They're 14-23 and 23 on the season. Last night, however, they did pull off a victory at home against the Hornets of Charlotte. 130-126. Uh, to 126. This was without John Wall. Trevor Ariza was their leading scorer. But obviously, it's going to affect the Wizards in many other ways other than just winning because they have not done a lot of that this season. Uh, but it might be time where we get into that t talk about tanking, which is why I have a little tank on the thumbnail, is will the Wizards tank or will they actually try to win games? Uh, if, uh, they'll probably tank. They've been struggling. They've been a bottom seed in the Eastern Conference of the playoffs. They've never been really a dominant threat in the East like the Cavs were when they had LeBron or, I don't know, Boston, Toronto, Indiana. They've never been like that. But, you know, they've always just been there. They're, they're that team that makes it in the playoffs and gets eliminated the first round. And if they get lucky, they get into the second round. But then they get swept by LeBron. So it's it's really been eh. And they didn't have super high expectations coming into the year. But they've had two All-Stars. And there, there were rumors circulating that, you know, um, the Wizards might trade them. Mm, they don't know what they're going to do, but they might trade one of them. Uh, those, I don't think they'll trade an injured wall. Beal is now their best player. He's their best playmaker, best scorer, whatever you want to call him. Um, so I, I don't see them trading him unless they're truly tanking when they trade him. But I, I could see the Wizards just basically giving up, just tanking. Uh, John Wall, he was averaging 20 points, 8 assists on the season. 9 assists, I think it was like 8.7 or something, but... Obviously a big hurt to that team. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they do without him. I wouldn't be surprised if they did tank, but there was another thing I saw somewhere. Uh, pulling it up right now. But tanking, obviously there was, it was a big deal last year. Cuban made that statement. He's like, yeah, we're going to tank, whatever. We don't care. We just want a high draft pick. And he got in a bunch of trouble for that. So the Wizards, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they just kind of sucked for the rest of the year. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'll give you the statement, and I'll tell you where they stand in the Eastern Conference in the overall NBA rankings. The Wizards currently sit at 11th in the playoff standings in the Eastern Conference, and I think they are the 6th worst in the league, only above the Hawks, Bulls, Knicks, Cavaliers, and Suns. So it's obviously being been a very rough season for them, but they're it's it's just been a rough year for them. That's all I'm gonna say. The three and seven in their last ten, they they did win last night as I said, so they're on a one game win streak. But it's been a rough year for them. They are fourteen and twenty three.
not doing very well. And they've made a couple trades this year. They obviously got Trevor Ariza. But um, here's, here's the thing I saw. So it said, the Wizards front office, though, has suffered from a different problem over the last 12 months. Vision, not effort. They've tried quite diligently to rearrange the deck chairs around John Wall and Bradley Beal. Enter Dwight Howard, exit Mar Marquine Gortat. Enter Trevor Ariza, exit Kelly Oubre Jr. Enter Austin Rivers, Rivers, wait 29 games, exit Austin Rivers. So obviously they made a lot of trades trying to get some more uh, role players around John Wall, Bradley Beal to try to build up a team, but they've never been able to do it. Um, they also have Otto Porter Jr. and Markeith Morris. They are also struggling with injuries right now, so they have not been playing, but they should, uh, they should I don't know when they're returning, but uh, I think one of them has, I think Markeith Morris has a neck injury and Porter has an ankle or a knee injury. So the Wizards are, they're having their struggles, so they could desperately need, use some help if they want to actually try, but if they don't want to try, they should just tank, go for the, the highest draft pick they can get. But yeah, um, that's all I got for today. Thank you for 150 subscribers. We cracked 150. That's cool. Awesome. Thank you. You guys are the best. Um, that's it. If you want to see me make a very good plea for Steven Adams to be in the All-Star Game, click on this because I know you want to see Steven Adams in the All-Star Game. But you also want to see this video, so go click on that, go watch that. Uh, like it too. Like this video if you liked it. If you want to see another video of mine, here you go. And if you want to subscribe, click on my face. Thanks for watching. Thank you to all 150 of my subscribers. You guys are the best.